Mankind. There is no denying that he is indeed a masterpiece of engineering. Medical science has helped us to appreciate just some of the amazing complexity of the thousands of biochemical, mechanical, and electrical processes found in the human body. In fact, this dynamic, self-replicating, self-repairing system called the human body is unparalleled by any of the marvelous inventions that man himself has created. One such invention, the MRI scanner, has in recent years allowed us to expand even further the depth of our understanding of the structure and function of the human body. Before the advent of the MRI scanner, we could only crudely assess the inner workings of structures, such as the joints, heart, and brain. But now, with the MRI scanner, we can, in a non-invasive manner, observe the integrity of muscles, ligaments, tendons, cartilage, blood flow, the brain and spinal cord. With the MRI scanner, we are able to push the frontiers of science even to the extent of probing the very thoughts of mankind himself. In 1977, Dr. Raymond Damadian invented the MRI scanner. The recipient of the 2001 Lemelson MIT Achievement Award and the 1988 National Medal of Technology his name stands among some of the greatest inventors in history in the National Inventors Hall of Fame. I said at one time, there is no God. I was dead wrong. Dr. Shem Dharampal, a Canadian radiologist, visits Dr. Damadian at the birthplace of the MRI scanner. When was it that you made your first image with the MRI scanner? In July 3rd, 1977, 4.45 a.m. Changed the world. <laughs> the recipient of the 2001 Lemelson MIT Achievement Award and the 1988 National Medal of Technology his name stands among the greatest inventors in the National Inventors Hall of Fame. It was a thrilling moment to have the president tell us we did something worthwhile. <laughs> Recently, our knowledge of the structure and function of living things has exploded. Scientific knowledge has caused many to question the validity of evolution. There's no way to look at the sophisticated physiology and anatomy of a living human being and to argue that it came about by statistical chance. It just doesn't compute. When you're a scientist and you've undergone the kind of extensive education, in the process of your being programmed into evolution, and the only way you escape is to examine what is the evidence for this accidental process of evolution. And when you look at it, there is no evidence. It's science fiction. If you accept the reality that the physical world under the present laws of physics are continually deteriorating, that forces the conclusion that there had to be a beginning. Then the beginning um, was nothing. And somehow you have to get from nothing to something. And you can't get there by any of the physical laws that we know. There's only one way to get from nothing to something, and that's what the book of Genesis tells us. You want to insist that you know how creation came about without the existence of our maker, you have to explain how to violate all the laws of physics and go from nothing to something by chance.